Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with the best graphics cards of the month or just best GPUs of the month really uh, for October 2014. I haven't done one of these in a little while. These cards are in no particular order by the way. So let's jump right into it. For the first card, I'm with the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 ACX 2.0. Um, this is EVGA's new ACX cooler. Obviously, that's why it's called ACX 2.0. Um, there's not a whole lot of non-reference cards for Maxwell architecture yet, uh, as far as the GTX 970 and 980 go. So, you know, this is EVGA's one. There's the ASUS Strix, um, a few others. But again, more are on the way. So yes, yeah, so it's got four gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. Uh, the base clock for this card is 1,126 megahertz. So the boost clock is 1,216 megahertz. So overall, good clock speed right there. It's 165 watt TDP, which is very low for a 980. That's pretty insanely low for any card, really. That's just the power of the the power of the Home Depot, no, the power of the Maxwell architecture. Um, yeah, it's $550, it is a beast, really. It, Like I said, it doesn't use very much power. It's fast as all hell, so, you know, maxing out Battlefield 4 at 1080p, 60 FPS with ease. Um, you know, you could play at 4K at moderate settings with this, you know, 4K medium settings on most games and get 45 plus FPS or at least 30 plus if that's what you're aiming for. Um, so yeah, again, you can SLI these cards as well and get away with that just fine. So yeah, for the second card, I'm with the XFX Radeon R9 280X 3GB double dissipation video card. Uh, this is XFX, XFX's um, non-reference cooler for the AMD side. It's got 3GB of GDDR5 VRAM. Uh, the base clock is 850 MHz and it boosts up to 1000 MHz, also known as 1 GHz. Um, yeah, so the core clock, yeah, it's a little bit low, but whatever. Uh, the TDP is 250 watts, um, which kind of shows you how awesome the 980 is again, going back to the 980, because the 980 was 165, and the 980 is more powerful than this card. So, yeah, XFX uh, Radeon R9 280X, the TDP is 250 watts. Also, the card is priced at $250 right now. Not a bad card overall. Uh, my friend actually owns this card. He owns the, what is it? The no, yeah, Sapphire. He owns some Sapphire version of this card. Um, works like a charm for him. Gets the job done at two hundred fifty dollars. It's not that bad of a deal. Uh, yeah, for the third card, one with the Asus Radeon R seven two sixty X two gigabyte Direct CU two video card. Right now, this has two gigabytes of GDDR five VRAM. Um, which is more than enough for 1080p or even 1440p. The core clock is 1.19 gigahertz, and the TDP is 115, which isn't bad, again, even though it is a 260X. This is also priced at $136. Um, for a budget option, this really isn't bad. If you just want to be gaming at 1080p in moderate settings, you know, 1080p medium settings, 45 and above FPS, well... You know, let's, let's let's give an example here. You know, Battlefield 4 at 1080p medium setting, 60 FPS, you know, stuff like that. So this is a more than capable GPU if you want a game at the same level as, you know, an Xbox One or PS4, let's say. So, yeah, not much more I can say. For the XFX, I mean, for the next card, I'm with the XFX Radeon R9 270X 2GB double dissipation video card. Um... It's got two gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, core clock is one gigahertz, 180 watt TDP, and it's $220. Uh, if you do want to step up by about $100 or so from the 260X that we mentioned a second ago, this is a good option. Again, if you want to play Battlefield 4 maxed out and get about 60 FPS, this is the card for you. So again, if you want to play at PS4 settings or above all the time, then... This is a good card. Uh, for the last card, I'm with the Asus Strix GeForce GTX 970. I was talking about this card earlier. This is Asus's um, non-reference cooler for the 970, and I believe there's also one for the 980. Uh, it's a good. It's a good cooler overall. It's got four gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. Uh, base clock is 1,114 megahertz, and it boosts up to 1,253. Uh, the TDP is 145 watts, and it's $330. So 
not a bad price for this card. Um, I have the EVGA um, 770, the ACX version, and that card is, it, it's good, but the 970, oh my god, it kicks ass. Like, this has got 4 gigabytes of GDDR5, and it, it's just a beast, and it uses less power than my 770. So, you know, I, I was kind of promising myself that I wouldn't upgrade to Maxwell so early, and I'm, I'm still not going to, but this makes me kind of want to upgrade, because <laughs> this card is such a beast. But, yeah, not much more I can say here. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I post content every three days. Thanks for watching. And peace.